So I won't be playing this upcoming weekend. And I didn't play last weekend, so I haven't uploaded anything in a while. And a friend of mine asked me to do a build for him. So this is going to be running the Warhead Brushless and the uh, Aztec Tappet List system. I've never done anything like this before, so this is completely new to me. And it's going to be a lot of stuff for me to figure out. But I'm really excited to put this together and hopefully get working and show it off uh, on my channel. Just as a little something. Since, like I said, I won't be uploading this upcoming weekend. Uh, the weekend of the 20th. And I didn't play last weekend, so obviously I had no footage to upload then. So, uh, stay tuned, and I will be doing this up. Hopefully I'll have it done by the end of tonight. But again, since I've never done anything like this before, I don't know how long it's actually going to take me to finish it. Um. So I haven't posted any videos in a while. Um, gameplay videos, mostly because I haven't been playing. I started refing for... Uh, the local airsoft company out here where I live and that's what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks which is why I haven't shared any new gameplay footage but I have been teching on some stuff and this is uh, one of my latest builds that I made for a friend uh, actually so uh, this is gonna be kind of uh, like a tips for the parts that I put in here as well as the my personal opinion and the experience that I've had with working with the parts that are in this. So I had shown earlier in an, in an earlier part of the video that I was using uh, the Aztec Innovations parts. So that's the uh, tappetless cylinder head, the piston, the piston head, the trigger, and I believe that's it. Uh, but it basically just removes the tappet from the system. Which, uh, in theory, is a really cool. Uh, it's it's a really cool design, uh, mostly because I was uh, I was refing at Red Dawn over the weekend uh, last Sunday, and I loaned my KWA T10 to another friend, and my tappet plate in that snapped in two. So, it's really cool that this doesn't use a tappet because it removes one very critical point of failure in your system. Now, that being said, uh, I think Aztec Innovations has some R&D, uh, maybe some improvements that can definitely be made on the tappetless cylinder or the tappetless system. Mostly because when I had initially put this together, I threw in a set of DSGs, and it was shooting fast for sure, but. The air seal in the system was so good that it wouldn't reset properly so my BBs wouldn't feed into the nozzle or into the hop unit properly and shoot because the nozzle wasn't fully retreating all the way back so the BBs wouldn't feed properly which obviously is a big issue. Now it did work in semi, it worked perfectly uh, but auto was the big issue and some events uh, such as Red Dawn, they allow you to use auto, and a lot of people like to do that. So when a build like this, and my, my buddy specifically asked me to build it for a full auto um, events, for a build like this, not having full auto, it's kind of an issue. So that's one thing. Um, I did learn from JHQ Tech, who also has his own channel and shows his own tablet list builds on there, that if you remove an internal o-ring on the nozzle itself you can correct the issue um, so by taking that nozzle out it removes the perfect seal that comes with the system and it allows it to expel the air forward when the nozzle retracts so that it can actually go all the way back like it's supposed to uh, the problem with that is that it can cause some pretty serious uh, FPS deviations in your system, which to some people may not be a big deal. For me, it's, it's, I mean, it's kind of, it's very important to me, actually. I try to get all my builds within plus or two, plus or minus two FPS, and this is definitely not there without that O-ring. Now, JHQ Tech did do a FPS test on his build, and he had really good seal. Um, so I'm not sure what he may have done differently than I did, but his definitely had a way more consistency than mine. Um, 
Uh, again, I'm not sure if that's uh, something is wrong with the system that I got, like the parts that I got, or if he knows something that I don't that I could do to this to make it seal better. Uh, now, the Apache does come with a um, adjustable nozzle. So the, the nozzle has to be adjusted properly for it to seal with the bucking if it goes too far in. Um, if, if, you put, if you adjust it too far out, it won't retract far enough for the BBs to feed. If you adjust it too far down, you won't be able to get a good air seal with your, your bucking. And then you get F FPS deviation. So setting that can be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, I know some people say, you know, just mash the nozzle head into the, uh, the hop unit and then adjust it that way. Me personally, I don't like doing that. What I like to do is put the, the cylinder head into the gearbox, close that all up, put it into the lower, attach the upper with the hop and barrel assembly installed inside of it, and then shine a flashlight up into the bucking and look down the end of the barrel to see if there's any light coming through. Obviously, if there's light leaking through the hop unit into the barrel, you'll know that your nozzle isn't set properly. So you'll have to either retract it or um, extend it, depending on your case. Um, so I'm not sure if that process that I did might have something to do with the FPS variations, because this one was within plus or minus 5 FPS. It was between 400 to 409 point something FPS is what it was shooting at and it goes up to uh, 33 RPS so it's still pretty fast um, and and removing that that nozzle that or I'm sorry the uh, o-ring that is inside of the nozzle itself on the Apache did solve the feeding issue um, one other way to get that problem resolved is to put a stronger spring into the Apache as opposed to the stock one that comes in it however if the material of the spring that you use is too strong or too hard it can end up causing your Apache to wear down internally and it'll end up poking through the front of it uh, I can't really show you that just because I have it all closed up and this has a screw on the on the other side of the uh, of the upper pin right there so I don't want to take it apart right now just because I, I'm done. I'm done with this thing. Um, so that's just another thing to keep in mind. If you want to put a new spring in the Apache, you're going to need something that is relatively soft enough that it will not damage the material of the cylinder head itself, which I believe is made of some sort of really soft aluminum uh, because it didn't have that many rounds through it before I noticed that it was starting to, to have some issues with uh, wear and tear already there. Luckily for me, the spring that I had tried in this to initially solve the problem uh, didn't go all the way through it. So I was able to catch that before the spring broke clear through the front of the Apache and I put the stock one back in and took the O-ring out instead of using the heavier spring. Um, so I, I did also try their 10 to 1 gears that Aztec and or, yeah that Aztec Innovation makes those do not work um, I initially put them in here first and I could probably get off two or three shots before the gate Titan that is inside of this would beep and throw the code that the sector gear was not detected so that was a big issue I tried everything I could you know everything that I could have thought of uh, every time it threw the code to try and get it fixed and nothing worked so I said screw it let me try something and I ended up pulling out the 10 to 1 Aztec gears and I put them in my T10 out of curiosity just to see if it was the gears or if it was something that I had done um, before this my T10 was running on 16 to 1s and it was fine it had zero problems except for the broken type of plate, which happened at uh, Operation Red Dawn, which was a mere tactical event. But I put them in my T10. Uh, I took them to the indoor uh, arena where I ref at on the weekends, where I've been refing at on the weekends uh, recently. And I was able to get maybe 15 shots before my T10 did the exact same thing. Now, I didn't change anything else in my T10 except for the gears. So... That kind of uh, verified my suspicions that the gears are not good. 
something about those Aztec Innovations gears does not play nice with the internals of AEGs. Now I have heard, um, but I don't know if it's true or not, that Aztec is aware of the issues and they are working on a revised version of the gears to try to mitigate the problem, which I hope is true because 10 to 1 gears would be really nice to be able to use. Um, so currently this thing is actually running on a Warhead brushless 36K. It has uh, a gate Titan installed. It has 12 to 1 SHS gears, a M120 spring. It has a retro arms gearbox shell. It runs uh, the Aztec trigger, which is actually really nice and really cool. I actually, the trigger is the one thing that I'm really, really happy with. Um, out of everything that I've put in this, as, as far as the Aztec parts go, I think the trigger is my favorite one. But it runs the uh, Aztec piston, the Aztec uh, piston head, the Aztec Apache type of the cylinder head, obviously. And then up in the front, we have a max hop unit running a 363 Prometheus inner barrel with a uh, Maple Leaf MR hop bucking. Um, it doesn't have a nub, it uses the standard maple, uh, max hop arm. So, but it's it's doing really well now. Um, and I'm definitely interested to see how it runs on the field. But I just wanted to put that out there for anybody that was interested in the Apache parts. You know, expect some difficulty with the nozzle, the setting the nozzle properly. That took me a while. And I ended up having to lock tight it down like four times because as it cycles, you have so much air pressure coming through the system, which causes a lot of friction internally, and it kept melting the um, the Loctite. So I was using blue Loctite. One point just said, screw it, I'm done. I ended up red Loctiting it down. It's fine now, it hasn't come undone since, but that took me a while. Uh, the red Loctite needs to sit for like 24 hours, um, and I didn't want to mess with it while it was curing. So that that was a whole day of, days of work gone. The gears also, because I really wanted to use the gears, so I didn't want to just be like, oh, it's the gears fault, so just throw them out right now. You know, I kept trying different things. You know, I tried a different Titan in it. I tried different batteries, different motors, different motor heights, different pistol grips. I tried a whole bunch of things to try to, to get the gears kept in this build because the gears happened to cost 150 some odd dollars, right? And my friend paid for these parts and I didn't want him to have wasted his money. Unfortunately, that seems to be what ended up happening is he just lost out on that because the gears are not useful at all. So, uh, the gears were an issue. Again, like I said, avoid those gears at all costs. Maybe once Aztec uh, puts out their revised gears, hopefully they're better and they will function the way they're supposed to. But as of right now, just completely avoid Aztec gears at all costs. They're not good. Don't waste your money. If you're gonna spend that kind of money, get Siege Tech gears. Um, otherwise, SHS gears work just fine. I have them in pretty much all of my AEG builds and they're all working phenomenally. So SHS gears definitely have my seal of approval. The piston and the piston head are actually pretty good. They get some pretty solid air seal. Um, so if you wanna use those parts, feel free to do so. Uh, you may have to, or you may want to uh, super glue or use some kind of adhesive to keep this steel rack in place. It is a full steel rack, it's second to last tooth is removed. So it's a pretty decent decent uh, piston there. The piston head is, is nice as well. It has a nice solid O-ring. It's ported in the front, so you get that good air seal as it cycles through. Um, overall, the only parts that I would definitely use um, and would recommend to other people are the trigger, the piston, and the piston head. The Apache is a cool system, but they kind of have some kinks to work out. Um, if you want to use it, use it. It works as it's supposed to, uh, but it does take a little bit of uh, tuning, tweaking to, to get it working properly, which I expected, but not to the extent that I ended up having to, to do it. So if you don't mind teching and you enjoy taking the time to do things like that, by all means, go ahead and do it. If you want something simpler, just honestly opt out for any other quality cylinder head and nozzle on the market and you'll be completely fine. Tap it plates are generally pretty reliable and they're kind of hard to break. Not sure why my T10 tap it broke, but um, the tap it 
the systems have been around for way too long and they've been working so if it ain't broke don't fix it right um, anyways I'm not gonna do an FPS test just because I don't really feel like it um, and I'm not gonna do a rate of fire test either I've already shown all that info to the person that owns this he's okay with the way it runs I'm okay with the way it runs but I will shoot it for you guys just to, uh, so you can see here what I'm working with so it's got a little HPA battery here connected and this is on semi so it's pretty snappy um, I like it. I hope my friend likes it. And then here's on auto. All right. Well, that was it. If you have any questions about the parts that I have in here or anything that I may have done to get everything working properly, feel free to post a comment down below and I will be sure to answer you as soon as I can. Thanks.